rectangle. So you're sitting at your desk and staring at the chalkboard. Pretty boring, huh? Well, not if you think of it as a parallelogram with four right angles, whose top and bottom match, and whose sides are equal. It's not just a chalkboard. It's a rectangle. Triangle. Tri equals three, and an angle happens when two lines intersect. So a triangle has three sides and three angles, and it's edible. Square. You're so square. <laughs> no, you're not. Check your face out. Are there four equal sides and four right angles? I don't think so. You're not square at all. You're really cool. Pentagon. Welcome to the Pentagon, where all math officials are armed with five sides and five angles. But you don't have to go to Washington to see a pentagon. You can look at the shapes on a soccer ball. Can you think of any other pentagons? Hexagon. Bees and spiders love hexagons. A hexagon is a six-sided, six-angled shape like a honeycomb and a spider's web. Did you know that a fly's eyes are hexagons? Cool, huh? Octagon. Stop! Didn't you see the sign? It had eight sides and eight angles. That's an octagon, and that's the law. Ellipse. Have you ever made an imperfect circle? Well, don't erase it. Race it. Lots of racetracks are in the shape of an ellipse. A really fun way to make an ellipse is to put two fingers in your mouth and pull out toward your cheeks. Your lips form an ellipse. Parallelogram. Hello, parallelogram for you, my friend. It says here you've got a tipped-over rectangle. Oh, so that's a parallelogram. Opposite sides are equal and parallel to each other. Parallel means that two lines never intersect. Trapezium. Picture, if you will, a shape where four sides are not parallel and will eventually meet each other. A space where intersection is possible. You've entered the trapezium zone. Rhombus. Today we will prepare the delectable rhombus. For ingredients, you need four sides all the same length, two obtuse angles, which are larger than a right angle, and two acute angles, which are smaller than a right angle. Simply combine the ingredients and bake. Your first rhombus. Ah, <laughs> delicious. Polygon. Polygon, that's me. I was named after the polygon, a beloved figure having three or more sides. But the awesome thing is, the number of sides equals the number of angles. Now, polygon. Pythagoras had a little theorem, and it went like this. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. That means that for every right triangle, the sum of the two sides squared equals the longest side squared. Pythagoras was one smart dude. Pie in your face. The distance around the outside of any circle, called the circumference, divided by the distance across the middle of the same circle, called the diameter. Is always the same number, three point one four, which is also known as pi. When you think of the perfect number, think six. The Greeks say six is perfect because all of the numbers that divide evenly into six add up to equal six. That's odd. You have an eleven thousand to one chance to score a hole in one in golf this season. The chance that you'll be struck by lightning twice this summer is one in four hundred sixty-nine billion. So I wonder what the odds are of being struck by lightning while playing miniature golf. The Arabs could count up to ten thousand by a system they devised that looks a lot like the sign language used by the deaf community today. Let's give them a hand. Are you superstitious? If you are. Beware the U.S. one-dollar bill. Check it out.
There are 13 steps on the pyramid, and the mottos, annuit septis, and e pluribus unum, both have 13 letters. There are also 13 stars, 13 stripes, and 13 arrows. There are even 13 leaves on the olive branch. Back when the dollar was made, there were only 13 states, so the dollar designers thought 13 was lucky. So maybe it is. No wonder it takes so long to play a game of chess. For the first four moves alone, each player has 318,979,564,000 possible moves. Circle. A circle is something like a ring or a hula hoop that has no beginning or end. If you put a dot exactly in the middle of a circle, it will be equally far from all its sides. Try dropping a stone in water and watch the circles grow larger in perfect dimension. See you around!